the near future, a malicious zombie virus has broken out in the city of Washington, D.C. The government has sealed off all accesses into the city to contain the outbreak. To support the nation in its crisis, the heroic president of the United States decided to remain in his stronghold, the White House, and lead his people until rescue arrives. The White House is now a refugee camp for survivors who seek protection, and the Oval Office has been turned to a communication center where a surveillance system consists of 30 monitors has been set up, which the president uses to access CCTVs around the city and detect threat. Through the internet, he searches for survivors and rescues them from hazardous environments. The modified Oval Office is dark and cluttered, but nevertheless retains its majestic presence. The windows are sealed shut with wooden planks, and the only light in the room came from the seams between each plank and the two doors which allow access to the rest of the building. An air vent which is large enough to house an adult is partially exposed on the ceiling and functions as an emergency exit. Many of the original decorations, vanity items and furniture have either been removed or replaced by more efficient substitutes. In comparison to the glamorous cabinetry and interior design, the newly added equipment stand out as being humble and polished and out of place. The Oval Office also functions as a temporary medical station, where two couches and a flag have been joined up to form a double-sized bed, and simple medical supplies such as bandages, medicines and clean water have been gathered and stored either inside a large duffel bag or laid out on a food trolley. There's also a soft toy by the side of the bed for calming child patients. Arsenals from the size of a handgun to a gunling, which have been accumulated over time, form a pile on the president's desk, which is usually covered up by a flag as children are sometimes admitted into the office for medical attention. Tools such as axes can also be found, which are used more often for breaking obstacles than attacking zombies. Signs of patriotism such as flags, photographs, and the seal of the United States remain intact and clearly visible in the midst of chaos. This was done by the president to remind his people to have faith in their leader, and it also gives us an idea that a patriotic government official is in charge. In conclusion, the environment needs to reflect the president's selflessness, great leadership, organizational skills, and dedication to his people. However, the collection of weapons on the desk and the surveillance monitors also convey a greater and more dubious depth into this character, wildness and recklessness, which raises doubts about the reliability of his actions among his followers.